Alright, so I just want to run through how to palpate your females um, when they're developing follicles, which will eventually turn into eggs. Um, you can tell if they're ready to breed, when they're going to be close to ovulating, and things of that nature by palpating them. And essentially, you're going to take an animal and run your hand down its belly and try to feel the little bumps. So it, it can feel like pea sized, you know, nickel sized, up to golf ball sized, and even like full egg size if you're really trying to palpate them while they're actually you know, ovulating, which I wouldn't recommend because you could damage something. But so this girl is building follicles. We're going to put her in here, let her go to the dark. She's going to want to go into the back where it's nice and cozy. I'm just running my fingers down the belly and trying not to let her perch on anything. And I'm feeling for anything you can feel, you know, poops or internal organs. <laughs> like you can feel all kinds of things, but you'll feel like a chain of little balls. And you can feel how big they are and tell how far along in the pregnancy, I guess, they are. The gravity. I don't know. And if you're having any trouble with the snake sliding through uh, your hands, like these gloves are a little slick, so it, it's really easy to move. But if you have something more tacky or if you're using your bare hands and maybe you're a little sweaty or something, it, it might kind of like stick. You could grab like a snake bag or a paper towel or something and put it on the bottom. So that way it's got a nice smooth surface to go over. So that might help you out if you're having a little trouble. Yeah, so that's how you palpate. Oh, look at me with my little veil on. Oh, what a world, what a world. All right, guys, got another clutch today. Gonna pull uh, it's from an Enchi Butter female to a Lemon Blast scaleless Head male. It's all right. Look at you being defensive. Let me bring you in here. So she's very beautiful. I can see some nice healthy eggs in there. So. All right, all right, all right, I know. Unwrap the tail here. Oh, look at that. That is an egg. It's not all the way out. It's all the way down by the vent, so I should be able to palpate it out. Probably a slug. Try to do this without getting bit. Come on, man. There we go. Nice and easy. So you come now. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but yeah, a little slugger. Boop. So now she looks empty. Wonder why she held on to that. But it's fine, and she's good to go. You need to redo that. You want to be real gentle. Um, you don't know if the overdock might be twisted up or something. This one was all the way down by the vent, so it was, I was pretty certain that it was going to be fine. 
and just nice and gentle. Don't want to force anything. Remember that little slug? Hmm. Let's see here. What I'm doing here is I'm looking into the egg to make sure it's fertile. Um, an infertile egg will be just look um, sort of like opaque and yellow inside. And a fertile egg, you'll see vein structure. And uh, I'm going to make sure that it's got nice strong veins. Make sure the veins are toward the top because that's where you're going to have your embryo. And these are all looking good. Sometimes they can get rolled around and the embryo will get on the bottom and that could uh, cause trouble. The uh, embryo could drown. And we don't want that to happen. So, just grab the next. Uh, grab the next egg bin. I knew I had a bunch of clutches coming, so I pre made all of these. Just have them ready. These eggs were laid sometime last night or maybe this morning. So five good eggs from Scala said lemon blast mail to NC butter, so that should be cool. Uh, scaleless snakes are awesome, but even the scaleless head by itself really kind of cleans up and brightens up the pattern. So, yeah, we like it. And I'm just going to get it uh, all sealed up and labeled for 60 days from now. And we'll do a clutch cut video then. See what happens. Five more eggs. Cool. That should have us at like, I don't know, close to 30 eggs in the incubator right now. And we still have these two ladies that are gonna drop, and then probably three or four more that are building and getting ready to ovulate right now. So, season's going good. We had two early clutches and now everything's starting to come at the same time. Where's my marker? Oh, here it is. All right, guys. That is the update. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like this video, comment down below, and let us know what you want to see. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that. That would be awesome. That's how you get in our giveaways. And hit the bell icon. See ya.